The so-called world's greatest glasses revealed millions of ex-accounts banned and claims one of the biggest AI companies is a, quote, train wreck. It's a big day of tech news and our science and technology correspondent Brent O'Halloran is here to break it down. Brent, let's start with Meta. They're called AR glasses. Just how revolutionary are they? Yeah, well, according to the CEO, they are the most advanced glasses the world has ever seen. So a prototype of the Meta augmented reality glasses named Orion was shown off at the Meta Connect conference this morning. They're essentially a chunky pair of Ray-Bans with some sophisticated tech inside, which overlay holograms over the real world. Now, wearers can interact with it via their voice and, and use Meta AI functions like live translation. Orion also has a neural interface which allows the wearer to send a signal from their brain to the device. So this device is, is essentially allows people to get real-time information about what's in front of them and provide a different format for working or even watching movies. And if I do say so, the most advanced glasses the world has ever seen. Less than 100 grams. Uh, they need wide field of view, holographic displays. Sharp enough to pick up details. Right, this isn't pass through. This is the physical world with holograms overlaid on it. There is no release date yet for Orion. Meta is reportedly looking to sell them for around 500 Aussie dollars. Though there are a few unanswered questions, particularly around privacy and data collection, Laura. There's another high profile exit at OpenAI. Yeah, the uh, chief technology officer, who is also briefly the interim CEO, Mira Murati, she's announced she's leaving the company. She says she is simply stepping, down, stepping away because she wants uh, time and space to do her own exploration. Mm -hmm. But this is the latest in a series of departures, and one leading AI expert told Sky News it suggests things aren't going well at this highly hyped artificial intelligence company. Open AI is increasingly looking like a train wreck like 12 different major figures have left in the last year or so. They also haven't shipped GPT-5, even though obviously their uh, future depends on it. They haven't shipped Sora. Meta is giving away the same product or very similar product for free. My guess is these people are living because they can't deliver what Sam is going around promising. And, and Brent, finally, what's going on inside X? We have a bit of new information on that front. Yeah, the social media company has published its first transparency report since Elon Musk took over. Among other things, it details how it's handling content moderation. Notably, X suspended around 5.3 million accounts in the first half of this year. That's significantly more than the 1.6 million Twitter, as it was then called, suspended in the first half of 2022, mm. Laura. Brent, just fascinating. Great to talk to you. We'll see you soon.